it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back today with a new box. If you are new to my channel, thank you for coming. On my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one self-care subscription box and tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. And today I have the Midnight Muses by Sugar Muses for May 2021. So let's jump in and right on top we just have our paperwork and it looks like the theme for this month is Luna which sounds fabulous so I'm gonna read the top portion of this and then we will dive in and see what we've got and then take a look at what she says about those items so it says this month we focus on the moon's divine energy a great source of power and strength the energies of the moon affect the activities of the subconscious, the intuition, dream work, and the emotions. Moon magic harnesses the power of ultimate feminine energy as the goddess is honored. Utilize each lunar phase within your workings and rituals to invoke specific energy. With the moon, you can add astrological considerations if you wish, since the moon, since the moon is always in a specific house of the zodiac, as well as a, each sign. Anyways. Goddess, that was my input. Goddesses associated with the moon and lunar magic include Isis. That's my girl. Um, Diana, Artemis, Hathor, Luna, Selene, um, Astarte, Hecate, Seridwen, and Brigid. The dark moon represents the dark mother, the crone, and the dark goddess. This is a time for banishing and reversing rituals and to release what no longer serves you. Waxing moon or maiden moon magic is an excellent time to begin new projects, gain inspiration, increasing abundance, and perform love and healing spells for creating success, good luck, and good health. Full moon or mother moon magic invokes creativity, manifestation, fertility, and sexuality. This is the time for spells related to finishing off projects, protection, and strength. Abundance workings, power, lunar magic, goddess magic, drawing down the full moon. Waning moon or crone moon invokes change and transformation, endings and new beginnings for clearing, cleansing, banishing negative energies, reversing, and divination spells. The magical contents of this box can be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do so. As with any ritual work, it is a sacred and very personal experience and it is recommended that you use your knowledge and intuition as you are guided. I strongly suggest casting a circle of protection before any energy or ritual work. All right, so let's see what we have. First, we have this Luna art print, very pretty. And um, usually that's by Christy, the owner and operator of this company. My personal Oracle reading is Page of Wands. That's hilarious. I totally, my um, new moon ritual I did the other day, um, I like to draw a card, um, a tarot card with my ritual, and it was the page of wands. And I liken this to um, my new creative passion project, um, which is my bath and body company that I'm getting close to. I've just been perfecting my formula for my bath bombs. And um, this weekend I plan to take um, pictures for my website and then I should have things up for you guys if you're interested. So, of course on top we have the business card. And then crinkle paper. Ooh, we got a cloth. Oh, it's a bag. Ooh, we got the moon. Or at least I did. I don't know. If, I'm sure everybody does since this is Luna. It's like a velvety bag and it's got a cute. Oh, there's a moon. Can you guys? Oh my gosh. There's a little crescent moon charm on the tassel of the bag. Cuteness. Okay. So now we have a little velvety blue sachet. And we have some black kyanite. I don't know if that's 
going to show up very good. You can kind of see the striations on there. So I got two pieces. There, that's a little better. Cool, cool, cool. Black kyanite is good for um, protection, grounding. All right, and then we have a, what I'm assuming is a candle. There's moon on the front there. I'm not sure what it smells like. I don't know if you guys can see there's like gold glitter. Yeah, you probably won't be able to see that. See if there's anything on the side. Okay, let's get our incense. Okay, we got some incense. Mmm. I don't know what it is. Let's light it up. Ready to go. All right. Uh, you never know what to get. Oh, yay. One of my favorites, y'all. They're perfume oils or ritual oils, and it says Luna. Very nice. And again, sorry, guys, my nails are shit. Hmm. Let's see. know what I'm smelling it's almost there's a very slight I'm gonna get it wrong I feel like there's a very very slight citrus in there but it's it's a subtle it's really subtle all right I'll grab this first so we have our tea bag in case you don't have a little thingamajigger and then we've got oolong organic tea. Very good. And it just says a uh, large coarse leaf oolong tea and it's um, caffeinated. I am also caffeinated. For show. Okay, I think there's only one more thing in here. Got something in some bubble wrap. Double checking. All right, it looks like we have our um, herbs and casting salt. Ooh. My labels are trying to come off. I think in the um, in the deluxe box, she had said she was using new labels, and they weren't really sticking all that great. Um, so we have mugwort, and then we have some marigold, and then our casting salts. So I was trying to tell you guys on one of my last videos, I do bigger jars like this, glass jars with the cork, and then I have created um, labels for them, and it will have the herb, and then like the planetary um, association, if they're masculine or feminine. I feel like I had one other association on there. Oh, what element? Like earth, air, fire, water, and then um, the properties, like or the magical uses of it. And the information that I put on there is from um, Scott Cunningham's um, herbal, I don't know if it's like an herbal grimoire, I don't know. It's his. It's his. Um, his herbal book. So, anyways, that's where I got the information for that. If you guys are interested in um, herb jar labels, uh, down below you'll see my Etsy store, and that's where you can find those. Okay, let's get our paperwork. And read what we got. So, all right, we've got our sage incense sticks, and it doesn't really. Oh, there we go. Sage is used to promote protection, to cleanse space of low energy, for banishing, for wishes, and for wins wisdom. And then it just says that um, incense represents the element of air as well as fire. And then she goes into her guided ritual, 
you have to subscribe to the box to get that. Then we have our raw black tourmaline, of which I got these two pieces. Some say this is the most powerful protection stone you can have. It promotes psychic protection, EMF protection, is said to remove bad vibes as well as being a spiritually grounding stone. Tourmaline is thought to encourage a positive mindset and bring good luck. I don't know who's texting me. Then we have our The Moon Velvet Tarot Bag, which is this guy. Actually, yes, this will be really good. I need to, I always forget to bring my tarot cards in my purse. Like, what a terrible tarot reader I am. So, I will put my cards, one of my decks, in that bag. And it says, this velvet zipper pouch is the per perfect place to place your tarot decks, crystals, or any other treasures. It features a white and gold moon tarot card illustration on the front and a matching tassel and crescent moon charm on the zipper. Then we have our mugwort. Venus Earth Feminine. Um, and that's what I put on my labels is like planetary um, element uh, gender. Use in dream pillows for prophetic dreams. Burn with wood excuse me, wormwood and scrying rituals. Moon water infused with mugwort leaves can be used to wash crystal balls and magic mirrors. Mugwort can be placed around tools like tarot decks, etc., to aid in divination. And then we have our marigold, sunfire masculine. Magical properties include prophetic dreams, protection, psychic powers, rebirth. Marigold is the plant of choice whenever putting together any spells or incense blends for psychic powers. Put marigold flowers under your bed to ensure a good sleep free of nightmares and to invite in prophetic dreams. Sprinkle around your house and over doorways for protection and to fill your home with positive energy. And then we have our hand poured alchemy spell candle, which is this guy. This soy candle is infused with notes of bergamot, jasmine, and dry woods. Use it to honor the full moon during meditation or ritual work. And I missed the oil. Oh, here we go. Then we have our Luna ritual oil. Mm -hmm. This magical oil blend was spellcrafted under the full moon with notes of fresh night blooming garden and contains a green tea infusion and an almond base. I don't know where I got a little bit of citrus, but it, it does, it's just very slight. But anyways, all right, I made that up. And then we have our oolong tea, which we don't really need to um, say anything more than that. It's oolong tea, um, which I don't know that I've ever had oolong tea. I probably have some. I don't know that I've ever drank any. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And then we have our intuitively drawn oracle card, which is actually, this one's a tarot card. And it is for, um, you can go to their website, sugarmuses.com, and search for Gold and Black Tarot by Arthur Edward Wheat. Okay, so it's just, um, it's just like the original deck, but it's uh, gold and black. And then we have our Luna Art Print by Christy. This digital collage art was created exclusively for this month's Midnight Muses box. It can be placed on your altar, framed, or added to your Book of Shadows grimoire for future reference. All rights reserved. Blur to blur to blur. All right, so that is our Luna box for May 2021. What did y'all think? Obviously, this is my favorite item. Um, I'd love to see, hear what you guys think in the comments below. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up for my video, that helps me out a lot. And if you are not a current subscriber, I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.